Technical analysis alone will not make you a profitable trader. You could know technical analysis like the back of your hand. That's new. Just kidding. You could know technical analysis like the back of your hand and you still would not be a profitable trader because it's a very small piece of a very large puzzle. So what are the other pieces that you need in order to create a successful trading career outside of just technical analysis? We're gonna go over that in today's video. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below the video to the right hand side. Click that like button, follow us on the socials and I'll see you in just a second. Let's jump right back on topic. Why is technical analysis not enough? Because technical analysis by itself means nothing without consistency. Consistency is a set of rules that you trade based on. You can know technical analysis have a deep level of understanding of how charts move, a deep level of what trend is, structure is, every candlestick pattern that's ever been made can be in the front of your mind but you will not be profitable unless you trade in a consistent way based on a set of rules. Trading with technical analysis and with no consistency, it's like having a nail and no hammer. It's not gonna be very useful to have that nail if you don't have the hammer that's going to help you drive it in. So without consistency, you will lose trades, which is why technical analysis by itself is not enough. Imagine this. This is going to be semi-dark uh, metaphor, but it's the first thing that popped in my head. Imagine that you are going to have to have a kidney transplant. A terrible situation for anyone, but imagine that you have a choice in the physicians, in the doctors, that are going to perform this transplant surgery. Option A is a doctor, and he consistently performs the surgery inconsistently. Let me explain. He uses different tools every time. Sometimes he uses anesthesia, sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he uses a different process for actually removing the kidney than other times. And he has a survival rate of about 55%. That's option A for the physician that's gonna take out your kidney. Option B is a doctor that performs the surgery extremely consistent, consistently every single time. He uses the same exact tools and the same exact process each time and has a very good survival rate. Which one of those two doctors do you want performing transplant surgery on you? If that was something you had to have. Of course it would be option B. Trading is the same exact way. You need to be placing trades in a consistent way using the same tools and the same process every single time. Before we get started with the actual technical analysis that we are going to do, I'm gonna show you a few of the trades that we took this week. I'm actually gonna show you the last five trades I took and show you a systematic process that I used to take those trades to help you better understand creating a rules-based system after learning and mastering technical analysis. That's what will put you on the path to successful trading, not just knowing successful, not just knowing uh, technical analysis, excuse me. But when I first started, trading personally. I'm just going to give you a little story about how consistency changed literally my life. Whenever I first started trading, of course, I was trading on a one a day trading time frame. I was trading based on what other people said on a forum or some kind of signal service that I took part in. And I was trading extremely inconsistently, sometimes trying to trade on my own based on a number of different candlestick patterns or a number of different technical analysis setups like support or resistance. And really what I was trading based on is the last strategy I saw on YouTube. And I'm sure you can probably relate to that. You see something bright, shiny, new object, like a new strategy, and you end up trading based on that strategy a few times. You lose a few trades and you switch strategies again. That's a huge problem I had at the beginning of my career. But once I mastered what I'm going to show you in this video, and actually started trading based on a systematic approach, a rules-based approach, my trading turned around completely and that was the first year that I actually saw a profit by the year's end. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. First off, let's take a look at the last five trades I've placed in the market. Let's do that right now. 
So first off, the proof factor. Let me prove that this is a trade I actually took. And instead of going to my broker's account and showing you the value of that, which is something I do not want to do, I'm going to go to our email analysis, which was on 1118. I sent this email out to all the traders involved in the EAP training program. And as you can see, it was a Canada Swiss short trade, which I'll put on the left hand side of your screen. Might be your right. I really don't know. I'll put it on the screen somewhere so you can see that email analysis, see the entry and the exit points that I had pointed out. So as you can see, we ended up winning this trade, ended up pushing up actually almost hitting our stop loss, not quite getting there though, and then pushing down and hitting our targets today as a matter of fact. And what I'm gonna do is talk you through the analysis behind this trade. It wasn't just technical analysis. As we discussed earlier in the video, just having technical analysis with no consistency means nothing for your trading. Knowing technical analysis doesn't make you a successful trader. Consistently placing trades on a set of rules is what makes you a successful trader. Those rules, although those rules must give you an advantage over the market or an edge over the market. And I'm going to discuss some of the rules we use to get involved in this trade or the rules that I use to get involved in this trade right now. So for me specifically looking for reversals, which is what this trade was based on. What I look for with a reversal is a market that's breaking into new lows. So if we have a market that as this pound Aussie, excuse me, Canada Swiss, I was thinking about a different trade as this Canada Swiss is went from, this uptrend scenario to creating new lows here. We've break, we broke below a bunch of these lows. We're still not in a downtrend. We still haven't necessarily reversed. Why is that? Why haven't we reversed? Because we haven't created a one, two, three move. One, two, three moves show me that we're in a reversal. So in this case, I knew that we were in a what I call bearish rotation, a possible reversal, but we weren't necessarily in the complete reversal yet. So I had to wait and be patient. Another huge part of trading is patience for this market to push up and then push down breaking below two. So this was our one, two, three move. Super simple, right? Let's go over it again. Waiting on the market to push down, push up, and then push back down. We're literally counting numbers. This is back like grade school yet again. One, two, three. So we have this one, two, three move, a reversal scenario that I love trading. And this is the part where not just looking at technical analysis, right? I didn't just say we have technical analysis here. We have support and resistance. No, I have rules. This is the process of creating a system that's based around rules or a strategy that's based around rules that gives you an edge over the market. So I know that my rules state that I need a one, two, three move for a reversal. That's the beginning stages of a system. So I have my one, two, three move. Once I have that one, two, three move, I know a very likely place for this market to continue in trend after a reversal like this is back at the previous point of structure that was broken, which was right here. We have highlighted in black. That was the last level that was broken as structure support, which could now turn into resistance, especially in reversal scenarios. Now, some things you can do to even more so increase the consistency of this and possibly the profit potential is add on something like a moving average. So now what you could say in order to create rules around this situation, not to just say I know technical analysis, but to create rules around it so that you have a systematic approach, a rules based approach is to say, I'm waiting for the market to reverse after being above the 200 day, 200 period, in this case, moving average. I'll wait for the market to break below the 200 period moving average, create my one, two, three reversal setup at that point. I look for trading opportunities at previous structure support or resistance that was broken. This case is bearish. So it's support that was broken. And that's where you would look for possible trading opportunities. Do you now see more so the difference between technical analysis and having a rules based trading approach? At this point, you have a rules based trading approach. You can take this and in order to see for yourself, if it actually creates an edge over the market, you have to go out and test it, go out and test this scenario over and over and see how many times it creates a successful trading opportunity, but we're not done yet. Having these are called conditions. I'm not going to write out conditions, but I will put C to help you out conditions. 
after conditions, we're going to need a reason to actually get in the market. So what's next is having an entry reason at this level. What's your entry reason going to be? You can have an entry reason that's like a price action pattern, double tops, head and shoulders patterns. You can have an entry reason that's just a candlestick pattern, such as shooting stars in this case, or a hammer candle in the case of a bullish move. And of course, I am the best person at drawing you've ever seen. That's sarcasm. I am terrible at drawing, especially with a mouse. So don't hate on my drawings. But in this case, you can see that the market came back to that level. We ended up with an entry on a lower time frame in the EAP training program, which you can see right over here. We ended up with an entry that we got on a lower time frame and ended up being a profitable trade. This systematic approach benefited our trading, not only in the fact that we consistently place trades in the same way or that I consistently place trades in the same way. EAP members tend to do the same thing, but also in the fact that it won, it was a winning trade. Will that always happen? Absolutely not. But if you have a consistent approach that gives you an edge over the market, you come out the winner every time. So that was the Canada Swiss trade. That's a way of actually approaching the market with a rules based system instead of just using technical analysis and calling yourself a technical trader. You need rules, you need consistency, and this is how you create it. So let's go ahead now and take a look at a few other trades that we had uh, throughout the week. We'll go down now. We had the Aussie Yen short trade, which I'll also put on your charts. The Aussie Yen short trade is right here. This trade ended up pushing down, and luckily for me, I actually saw this trade when we were one pip away from hitting targets right here at this level, and I took my profits off two pips, I think it was, away from the actual target, although we didn't hit targets, and Otherwise, if I hadn't seen this right at targets, I would have been stopped out for break even as close as we got to targets. But luck of the draw, I ended up winning the trade and the trade was based on a very similar situation. Let's take a look at it. So in this case, we're looking at a market that has been in a uptrend, right? Over the 200 day moving average. This is, I, I don't necessarily use this exact system or format for my trades using the 200 period moving average and all this reversal scenarios. I have a certain system I use that's taught in the EAP training program that I use on a daily basis, but this is the exact same approach I took to creating that system. If you're not in a position to purchase trading education, you can do it yourself. It may take you a little more time to create the system yourself, but this is the process you'll go through in order to do that. In this case, we have an uptrend above the 200 period moving average. We have a market that pushes down below the 200 period moving average and pulls back up to it. After the pullback up to a 200 period moving average that lines up with previous structure support and resistance. You see here, this is just another situation where I'm, I'm adding rules. I'm literally creating rules. You can take and write these rules down and test them in historical data to see if they produce an edge of the market. If they do, then not only do you have a technical analysis approach, but now you have a rules-based approach to trading as well. So a rule could be break below the 200 day, the 200 period moving average. When we get back to that 200 period moving average, excuse me, if that's an area of resistance and support looking left, then it's an area I look for trading opportunities. Then you create your entry and then you test it in historical data. You're gonna see that that process remains the same. So that was a winning trade we had as well. And we're going to go now to the next email analysis we had. I'll take a look at that and take, talk you guys through the analysis behind that trade. It was on the Euro New Zealand. I'll put a screenshot up on one of these sides. I'm not really sure which side it's gonna be on. This camera confuses me because sometimes it's on the right, my right, sometimes it's on my left, I don't even know. So the next one was on the Euro New Zealand that we had. This trade ended up just being a regular trend continuation trade. In terms of technical analysis before the trade, rules-based technical analysis, we in fact have our one, two, three move. We have our previous level of structure looking left right here, and we are able to place trades in that area based on certain entry reasons, again, that are taught in the EAP training program. So that's what we did here, and that trade ended up winning. We're actually still involved trying to get some second targets out of this. I'd love to see this market come down here. This will be the area I look for second targets is this next level of support right here. And that's the next thing I'm looking for on the Euro New Zealand. On this specific trade, we have our trend continuation level and we ended up going down to a smaller time frame. but you don't necessarily have to, do, have to do that. As I said earlier, your trading strategy, your rules-based system can be extremely simple 
So simple, in fact, that you could have traded based on the shooting star candle if it's something you've backtested, seen to be profitable, and decided to use in your own trading. Don't go out and just start trading shooting stars and hammers. And as a matter of fact, let's go through this for just a second. Just a little curveball from the video we're doing right now. Shooting stars and hammer candles, again, incredible drawings, I know, are candlestick patterns used by a variety of different traders that perform technical analysis in order to trade. But do you think if you go through the markets and you test every single hammer candle, every single shooting star cam candle, that you'll have an advantage over the market? From my testing, the answer is yes, but it's very slight. We're talking between 54 and 60-ish percent of the time, depending on the currency pair, 60 being the best currency pair there is to trade these types of candlestick patterns on, between 54, sometimes as low as 51% accurate, is what these candlestick patterns are if you just trade them by themselves. But the point of using these candlestick patterns is not to trade them by themselves. But other than that, it's to have consistency. Consistency in your trading is in a consistent way you place trades. When you see this candlestick, you go, okay, I enter a trade. And now you can take that information and you can back test it. You can say, I only enter on shooting star candles that are at previous support. Things of that nature. It adds consistency and gives you that slight advantage. Plus, you're adding conditions that give you even more of an advantage over the market. And that's the process of creating a trading system. Now, let's go ahead and move on to our next email analysis, which is going to be on, let me see here. Going back, the 19th, we had a Euro dollar email analysis that was a one target winner. And guys, I actually just opened up a pre-Black Friday sale for the email analysis program. If you're interested in getting email analysis like this three to five times a week and learning the exact system rules-based strategy that I use in my personal trading, then make sure to click the link in the description to take advantage of this pre-Black Friday sale. I'm only going to let about 25 people in for the pre-Black Friday sale. So you'll get it for the same exact price. We're going to be doing a huge discount for Black Friday. This is kind of just the prequel to that. Click the link in the description labeled EA pre black friday sale to take advantage of that and become one of the 25 new members if not totally cool we're going to jump back into the euro dollar trade which is on your screen again to the right or the left not really sure but it should be on the screen in this case we had a trade down on an hourly time frame i'm just going to be straight up we took this trade based on a double top we have a double top right here okay we have this double top let me grab my pin right here and we had a nice reason for entry at the second top on a lower time frame. But essentially, this was based on a double top. So we have a double top. But what made this double top more accurate? Again, similar to shooting star candles or hammer candles, if you take and test every double top you see and every double bottom you see, you will have a losing strategy. If you trade every single one of them, you will lose money. But if you trade retest, test, don't go out and trade this. I'm not a financial advisor and in no way giving you advice on what to do with your money. But if you take and test this every single time it happens in the market, double tops or double bottoms, you will lose money doing that. But if you take and test these at specific areas in the market where you've created rules, such as our reversal areas or our trend continuation areas, looking left here, we have a double top at an area of resistance and support. I almost said report, kind of combining resistance and support, which essentially, I guess you could say this market's doing, so not really a bad thing, but combining the double top scenario with this level of support and resistance that's been tested multiple times is what gave us an advantage and what ended up making this a positive trade, a winning trade. As you can see, had a great week so far, winning four of the last trades that we had, or that might be three, can't really remember. Let's go back. Nope, that was four. And for the last trade we're going to take a look at was on the Pound Aussie. This was our last email analysis trade, which again, I'll put a screenshot of beside the chart now. And as you can see, this trade was actually sent out earlier today, or kind of like a four o'clock AM thing. I wake up extremely early to look at charts in order to trade the system that's in the EAP training program in order to trade the system I trade. I wake up every four hours to do so. So I was up extremely early for this trade, saw a nice setup on this pair, and went ahead and take took advantage of it. Reason being, we're essentially in an uptrend for sure. 
And if we look at a daily chart, something I love about this trade, I'm going to give you a little extra tidbit here. On a daily chart, we had this incredible, smooth breakout of this flag pattern. Once we broke out of this flag pattern, I started looking for long opportunities. So another rules-based way to look at the market instead of saying, I just know technical analysis is to say, okay, after the breakout of specific patterns on a daily chart, I can go to lower time frames and look for situations, patterns, and entries in that specific direction. So in this case, it was looking for long trades after the breakout of a flag pattern. We go down to a smaller time frame. After the breakout of this flag pattern, we had a couple opportunities to get involved. And we ended up getting involved back at a previous level of support that was also a level of resistance looking left multiple times. We ended up getting involved based on that. As you can probably see at this point, all, a lot of my rules, a lot of the systematic approach I use in order to place trades is, revolves around structure and trend, which I think is important for any technical trader. You must master those two and then create rules for them in order to trade based around. The next step is to create entries in order to create that full system. Then what we're gonna talk about now is one of the most important steps that's hardly ever discussed, discipline and risk management. These trades that I'm talking about, just because I had five winning trades this week and five winning trades came through the email analysis program, that doesn't mean that we win all the time. I'm going to bring up the actual spreadsheet from the email analysis program. And in it, you will see that we win about 59% of the time so far in 2019. That's a great winning percentage for us. Most of the time it's closer to 55. So we ended up getting a little higher winning percentage this year, but that means that 40 out of every 100 trades I place are losing trades, right? What you see here is the spreadsheet from every email analysis we've sent out throughout the year of 2019. We have an average risk reward of 1.16, a winning percentage of 59%. We've made about 72%. We've had a 19% drawdown. What does that mean? This is really where you need to focus is on your drawdown. You want to lose as little money as possible. You want to make sure you don't lose your account. So in order to do that, you need to adjust your risk management plan and your risk per position. Losing 40 out of 100 trades like this, do you think I would be able to lose six or seven in a row, which I've done this year, I've done that in 2019, and have a 10% risk? If you're risking 10% of your total account balance and you lose seven in a row, you just subtracted 70% of your total account balance. Do you know how difficult that's going to be to get back? For this reason, it is highly better for any trader, including myself, to risk one, two at maximum percent of their account. I'm not suggesting you do this. You may want to risk way less or way more, depending on your risk tolerance, completely depending on you. You make your own decision. Don't take this as financial advice. But if you're risking 10%, 5% of your account on trades, I even, the, the accuracy I have as a professional trader, I wouldn't be able to handle this risk because it'd put me in a drawdown of 50 or more percent. I don't want a 50% drawdown. I can't handle my emotions at a 50% drawdown. These strategies and rules-based systems give us an edge over the market. But that edge over the market exists in a world where you will have losing trades. If you have an edge, essentially that's what that means. You might have a 60% chance to win, but you're going to lose 40 out of 100 trades in that scenario. Not, um, that's not an exact science, of course. But just for example's sake, you're going to lose 40 out of 100 trades. Your risk management plan needs to be small enough, needs to be appropriate enough that you losing those 40 trades, no matter how many of them come in a row, you stay sane. You stay, you stay disciplined. And most of all, you don't lose your entire account or get to a point where you can't trade anymore because you're emotionally unstable. It also having this better risk management plan will help you become a more disciplined trader. You can't have discipline with a terrible risk management plan. You, you won't be disciplined to a trading strategy that's losing 50% of your account, I promise you. So risk management plays a huge role in discipline. Another thing that plays a huge role in discipline is demo trading and back testing. You must understand your system 
in and out the rules-based system you create in order to stay profitable with it. This video is going to get super long if I don't end it here. If you are interested in more information like this, if you're interested in learning the strategy systems that I use, the risk management techniques and discipline techniques that I use, the same system that's helped plenty of traders just like you come from exactly where you are and become professional and profitable traders, then there's a link in the description for the EAP training program. Of course, there's no guarantees here. You are going to have to put in a load of work. And therefore, for that reason, it's based on you, whether or not you become profitable. I can't guarantee your success, but we have had traders come out of the program much better than they went in. So if you want to get your hands on that first 25 pre Black Friday sale, click the link in the description. I'll see you there. Otherwise, check out this video on the other side of my face and check out some other content just like this. With that said, click the subscribe button, the like button, and I will catch you in the next video. Best of luck in your future trades. Talk soon.